then I got to college, I became an African studies major and learned Swahili, went to East Africa and discovered that in parts of the world, people eat insects as a normal part of their diet. When I came back, I read this news article. The United Nations had published this report around eating insects, and I learned even more about it. I learned that insects are really sustainable, arguably one of the most sustainable protein sources on Earth. It just kind of clicked for me. Like, nobody could convince me this was a bad idea. I mean, looking back, I'm laughing at myself. I'm like, this is just ridiculous. But it made so much sense. Like, if we could get past this ick factor, this is a whole new food source. Okay, so what happened next? So I graduated college and convinced my college roommate to not take her Microsoft job offer um, and convinced, <laughs> convinced her that we should instead try to start a business to get America to eat insects. <laughs> Didn't go very well at first. People were not into eating whole insects. And so I think we had our, our first breakthrough when we took crickets and instead of trying to feed them to people whole, what we did was we made a powder out of it. Um, we started making products with that, so cookies and chips and that kind of thing. Local news did some stories on us and these crazy girls who were uh, interested in getting the world to eat insects, um, but it resonated with people. And we ended up raising, well, $70,000 off of Kickstarter uh, and got our first 1,200 customers that way. And so then we went to an open audition for Shark Tank. We found ourselves on set in Culver City, like the LA area. Then what happened? You made a deal right there? Yeah, well, it was, it was pretty crazy. I mean, we walked on, we pitched the sharks, and pretty immediately Mark Cuban um, said, I want to make a deal. And so we countered, he accepted our offer, and that was it. Not sure exactly. Somewhere between half a million and a million people have eaten insects because of us, and we're in about 1,500 stores. So, you know, we're, it's a long ways to go. Insects are not mainstream yet, but I, you know, if, if when I die, this is what I've done is brought insects mainstream, that's okay. Like, it's going to take a while. So you talked about some early criticism. How did you move forward? So there was a lot of criticism. People were extremely skeptical. Um, I realized when people are saying, I don't believe it, or I'm skeptical, what they're really saying is show me. They would love to be proved wrong. 